Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody's having trouble blending these two objects. <clears throat> I don't know that I've ever tried to blend a, a colored object with an outline, but we're just going to blend because this is what they're doing. And we'll go to effects and blend five times. I think that's what she's wanting and got up. And she says, I only see these little squares. Well, the blend did work. It's just not there. They actually did blend it. So we go to object and break the blend apart and then select. We'll actually go and select it and ungroup it. Now, if we select in here, if we right click, there's your blend. They're actually there. And there's probably one more. Yeah. There's the five blends. So I think the problem is that these are common shapes. You built, you know, you made this with your heart tool and that shouldn't really matter. But what I'm going to do is just delete this one. This is a common shape, which is underneath your heart, underneath your basic shapes or, heart, or uh, common shapes or basic shapes. I'm going to fill this in with blue and then I'm going to move it over and I'm going to delete this one. Now this is a curve so we can have no fill and right click. I don't know why she wants one of them filled or not, but I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to make this one smaller, kind of in the same realm. And then grab these two and apply them. And that works because it's a curve and not a common shape. Now, just keep in mind that you need to make sure it's, uh, when you're doing something like that, see the, because I copied it, I didn't draw another one. The arrow's going there. Well, the arrow's going there too. If I would have made another one and accidentally had it like this, then when I grouped, when I applied, look what happens. It just starts turning them around. So anytime you blend, you want to make sure your shapes are identical. Um, you know, much like a even a square. If we convert that square to an object or to a curve, if we look at the arrows going that way, well, if I happen to draw another square and convert it to the curve because I went the other direction, now my arrow's over here. So if we blend these two guys, look what we get. It's, it's trying to do its job. That's because this one is turned around. So... So when I'm doing something like that, I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and move it over so these are two are identical objects. And then hit apply. And of course, by blending five of them, there's too many of them. And so I think that's what our problem is. They're just, and still, even though these are curves, if you fill this in with blue and try to blend this, it isn't going to work. you're going to get the same problem. Now they are there because if you even look at, go to wireframe and see it's doing the same thing now because of the color. So they are there. So whenever you want to blend two hearts, you can draw them with your heart tool, your common shape tool, but then just convert them to a curve or the easiest thing for me to do is just fill them in with your um, smart fill tool. And then you've got, what the smart tool fill, fill tool does is makes a new object. So let's go back. Let's uh, go to common shapes, find that heart, draw a heart. Let's hit plus key on the keyboard. And let, well, let's go down and let's try to blend them. Wow. Maybe it's just because you've got the color in there. Let's try that again on a open, um, get all these out of the way. So it's not really the common shape that's doing it. It's the fact that you have one of them color, color, colored in. Now, if you have both of them colored in, let's just try that. Let's fill, fill this one with blue and make this one red. Select them both. Sometimes you have to actually hit the shift key and select them both. Now you're going to get that 
but the color is messing it up somehow. I don't, I'm pretty sure I've blended colors before. Let's take this new, let's just draw a new, let's draw a circle and hit the plus key on the keyboard and make that one red and make this one blue and then blend them. So you're getting the same circle, but different colors. I don't know what's going on with this heart. Maybe because it's common shapes. So let's back up there again. Let's just go back and let's blend now just the curve. Remember this was a common shape, but these are common shape. And we're gonna make this one red. Now they should work. So the common shape was part of the corporate. Nope. We've still got a funny, and I'm pretty sure I drew these. These are identical. Let's take both of them and left click, no fill, right click. See the arrows going that away. There. Well, there's the difference right there. Maybe I didn't make a duplicate of that. So let's make a duplicate of this one by hitting the plus key. Move that over. Make that one blue. Make that one red. And it should work this time. There we go. You get different shapes. Now, I don't know why it doesn't work when you're trying to blend a color and a non-color. Maybe that's just what it's doing and you just it's just taking part of it. Anyway, I don't know if that helped anybody or not, but thank you for watching.